Hi, it's Neil Lazarus here, and welcome to our first blog cast. It's going to be interesting, and what I want to address today is one simple question. Why is it that after 60 years of independence, Israel is no good at public relations? Or as many people say, why does Israeli public relations suck? I'm going to offer you six major reasons. First of all, public relations in Hebrew derives from the word Hasbara. Hasbara comes from the Hebrew word to explain, la Hasbir. By itself it's proactive and, and many moves today in the field of public relations has been, have been attempted uh, or have attempted to take the Hasbara to a different field, to what we call Shivuk, marketing. To move away from trying to explain every action that Israel does and move towards a positive marketing with a brand, with a product uh, of Israel. Take for example the website 21C, taking the uh, discoveries of Israel and selling Israel in a very different way. Second of all, I would argue that the reason for Israel's failure is actually a cultural event. Uh, Sabras, Israelis born here, are born very much with, I would argue, or educated in a mentality of a rejection of being what we call in Hebrew a friar or a sucker. And there's a mentality of, well, it doesn't matter what the rest of the world does, is is what we do. And in fact, there's a Holocaust mentality there. If you see the whole of the rest of diaspora jury, uh, uh, sorry, diaspora as a cemetery for the world jury, how are you going to have any relationships with any other country? So what the failure of Hasbara may also be is a perception by Israel um, of the outside world in a post-Holocaust uh, society. As one person was rumored to say, Ben-Gurion was rumored to say, it's not what the Goyim think, it's what the Jews do. Well, with an attitude like that, it's not a surprise that Israeli public relations have been very problematic for 60 years. There's politics also involved in public relations in Israel. You know that old expression, two Jews, three opinions? Well, in Israel we have three Israelis, four public opinions, five parties, and a government crisis. Shimon Peres once was quoted as saying, you don't need good public relations, you need good policy. Yet there seems to be a uh, often a political uh, battle between the foreign ministry, the minister uh, of the prime minister's office, uh, and the ministry of tourism. Also, the relationship, for the example, of uh, the army. You know, when uh, Shimon Peres says good policy makes good Hasbara, well, the problem is that you also have an army which doesn't talk to the foreign ministry very often, who often informs the Israeli foreign ministry of what's going on at exactly the same time they do the press. Internal communications, how to organize a systematic campaign, has been a very problematic uh, issue within getting a positive message about Israel across. Finally, I would say political correctness is a very important uh, element. Often, especially in America, uh, people are afraid to say, you're wrong. That's not true. And part of the campaign is dependent on diaspora Jews standing up for Israel and saying, it's not true what's being written, it's not true what's being said. And in the mentality of political correctness, no one wants to offend. Ma five, six major reasons. Hasbara as a word, the culture of the Sabra, the political two Jews, three opinions, the uh, good policy making ha good Hasbara, and political correctness. But finally also, it may just be the media itself. Today, television is competing with other media such as this, the internet. They need a good news story. And where it bleeds, it leads. So one of our problems is, how do you explain with a spokesman, uh, however eloquent they are, when you have pictures of a tank next door? Uh, firing at uh, a Palestinian town or Lebanon, etc., etc. Sometimes just the visual image on the television is stronger than the words. Those are some of the dilemmas that we've been facing in the last 60 years. I'm going to be interested in what you have to think. So write to us on this blog. Thanks very much.